Hey guys, Jack here bringing you my Battlefield 4 Xbox One and PlayStation 4 Next Gen impressions. Before I start, a heads up, I've just released a metric ton of Next Gen videos on my YouTube channel. If you want to see the entire Xbox One single player campaign, click the annotation on the left and that will take you to the playlist. If you want to see a load of PlayStation 4 multiplayer footage, click the annotation on the right and that will take you to that playlist. So the embargo has lifted and finally I can give you guys my impressions of Next Gen Battlefield 4. The footage you're seeing in this video was all recorded by myself at the BF4 review event in Stockholm. There's no PC footage in this video, it's all next gen. If it's multiplayer, it's PS4, and if it's single player, it's Xbox One. I also want to say that all of the opinions and thoughts in this video are my own. They're based off what I played and what I saw at the review event. No one has paid me to say anything. This isn't a sponsored video or a promotion. This is just all my experiences and my opinions of the game. I'm not biased towards any console or PC, I own a 360 and a PS3, I've also pre-ordered both next gen consoles. I've never really seen the point in fanboying one console over another, they've all got their pluses and minuses and they've all got their great platform exclusives. For me it's about the games and not the allegiance to a particular brand. So the game then, what's it like on next gen consoles? I'm going to try and be as concise as possible, I don't want to bore you with technicalities, so let's start with it's very good. I can say that with confidence. In terms of animations, graphics, drama, environment, set pieces, DICE have really stepped their game up. The acting and mocap from the main characters is spot on. Michael K. Williams in particular shines through as Irish, although I feel like sometimes the writing let the characters down. There was also two returning characters from BF3 in the game, which was nice to see some continuity. It's action packed and for the most part a blast to play through. The story was a little confusing at times and packed full of cliches as you'd expect. EMPs, backstabbers, plot twists that you can see coming from miles away. Don't go into this game expecting The Last of Us or Bioshock Infinite. BF4 is an action packed modern military shoot 'em up and it certainly knows it. Whilst there are a lot of linear sections in the game, you do get these cool sandbox moments from time to time that reminded me a lot of Crisis, funnily enough. You'll walk out into a large area filled with bad guys and enemy armour. Scan it with your goggles, tag a few of them, and then it's up to you to decide how to take them all out. And this is DICE, as they promised, bringing in elements of the multiplayer to the single player, and I think they pulled it off quite well here. In terms of playtime, the single player is very short. It took me roughly four hours to complete on normal difficulty. I also felt like the difficulty jumped around an awful lot. There were two sections of the game in particular that I had to retry several times before I completed them, whereas the rest of the game, the difficulty level was quite steady. Overall I enjoyed the single player, nothing groundbreaking in terms of story and design. The linear sections are a bit of a grind fest sometimes, but if you want to blast some fools in the face as a ship breaks in half and drool at the awesome graphics then you're certainly going to enjoy this one. It's worth noting as well that there are some multiplayer weapons, equipment and dog tags you can only unlock from playing the single player, which conveniently leads me onto the online portion of the game. Multiplayer is where it's at with Battlefield, right? Big maps, fun, carnage, explosions. 500 meter sniper rifle headshots, blowing up jets with RPGs, that's what it's all about. And I'm glad to say that finally console players are going to be getting the true Battlefield experience that the PC has been bragging about for years. Better graphics, 60 FPS, 64 players, which is fantastic. And it's nice to see some parity between console and PC Battlefield for once. In particular, if you're a 360 or a PS3 Battlefield 3 player and you've never played PC Battlefield before, you're going to be flabbergasted when you play this game on next-gen consoles. It's a completely different experience. The jump from sub-30 FPS to 60 FPS is massive and makes a huge difference to the feel of the game and the responsiveness of the controls. When you've got 64 players on a server instead of 24, which is the current limit on console, everything just seems more epic. It's more busy, there's more explosions, more teammates, more enemies to kill. There's just always something going on and it makes it so much better. I can imagine that for the early next gen adopters playing Battlefield 4, sat on a couch with a controller in front of a 50 inch TV with a good sound system, that's going to be quite the adventure. However, with that said, it's very hard for me to recommend BF4 on Xbox 360 and PS3. In my opinion, BF4 should not be a current gen game. It belongs on the PS4, Xbox One and PC. But unfortunately DICE and EA probably can't afford to miss out on that current gen audience. 
Battlefield on current gen is so watered down it doesn't even feel like Battlefield to me anymore. But at the same time I know that some people do like it. They prefer the smaller maps and less vehicles so I'm sure not everyone will agree with me on that one. And some people will probably have a good time playing BF4 on their PS3 or 360. The multiplayer element of BF4 in general is amazing and I think it plays very well on next gen consoles. There really is no other game on the market at the moment that will give you the same experiences and unscripted scenes like this. Stuff that looks like it could have come straight out of an action movie just happens all of the time in BF4. It's fast paced, it rewards teamwork and it's incredibly satisfying at times. DICE have listened to feedback, built on what they've learned from BF3, added a load of cool features that make sense, suppression is at a sensible level now, gunplay feels solid, vehicle balance is good and the level design in particular in the 10 vanilla maps is incredible and stands far above that of BF3. I'm convinced that Battlefield 4 offers the most fun you can have in any multiplayer shooter at the moment. Nothing comes close to it for me. So what about graphics? How do the PS4 and the Xbox One stack up against each other? I know a lot of people want to know this so I'll give you my impressions but to me it really isn't a big deal. I don't care which platform has better graphics and I don't understand the obsession with it. I think gameplay and frames per second is much more important and both the Xbox One and the PS4 deliver great gameplay and FPS. In terms of graphics I'm just going to tell you like it is and what I saw at the event. Keep in mind that these aren't final builds of the game that we played, there's still a month and a bit before release so everything could change. And remember I'm not a Sony or a Microsoft fanboy, I think both next gen consoles have their pros and cons. In my opinion the PlayStation 4 multiplayer looked better than the Xbox One single player which was very surprising to me. Traditionally single player always looks better than multiplayer even on PC. After playing both versions of the game I went around and asked other journalists and YouTubers what they thought just to check if I had special eyes or something crazy like that and most of them agreed with me. I asked a couple of the DICE guys about this and they told me that the PS4 version runs at 900p which is 1600 by 900 and the Xbox One version runs at 720p which is 1280 by 720 or thereabouts which could explain what I was seeing. So jaggies on the Xbox One were a little more noticeable, especially in the background of scenes. I also felt that some of the particle effects and lighting looked better on the PS4. Regarding the lighting though, Johan Anderson, who is the technical director on Frostbite working at DICE, today tweeted that the Xbox One build that we played didn't have ambient occlusion added, and that could explain why I felt the lighting was a bit off. Ambient occlusion can make a big difference. And that's it, make of that what you will. It's my opinion and it was also a popular opinion amongst most of the journalists that I spoke to that attended the event. Is this a fair comparison? Probably not. I didn't play multiplayer on Xbox One because it wasn't available and for all I know it might look amazing and run at native 1080p but it's incredibly unlikely. Should that change your mind on what console to buy? No it shouldn't. If you can only buy one of the next gen consoles don't let little differences in graphics sway you. My advice is to go where your friends are, go with what controller you prefer, what exclusive games you're into and what features you desire the most from a console. That's my two cents. And like I said, I think both the Xbox One and PS4 versions delivered excellent visuals and gameplay and are a massive step up from current gen Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4. Personally, I don't think it'll matter what next gen platform you pick this game up on, you're still going to have a good time and you're still going to be getting the true Battlefield experience delivered to you at 60 FPS. That's what's important. As for me, I'm going to be playing BF4 on PC. I love my mouse and keyboard. What can I say? Thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed this one and make sure to check out all of the Xbox One and PS4 footage on my channel. There is an awful lot of it. Leave a rating and a comment. Let me know your thoughts. I'll see you in the next one.